I wouldn't even use it. But we move, we evolve. I'm seeing nothing. Please excuse the shadow. Y'all probably don't care, but I'm looking at it and it's, I thought I fixed my lighting, y'all. I thought I did, but obviously I didn't because it's, the shadow is back. The sh <sighs> I know I can probably fix it by putting like a light behind me, but I don't have the space for that. Anyways, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani Stevens. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my channel, and I'm also a makeup artist based here in North Carolina. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave. So in today's video, I have a couple new products that I'm going to be trying out. The start of the show is the True Match Super Blendable Foundation in N11. My original shade is Cool Coco C8. And as you guys can see, it's a completely different shade. And I think that was because this was the deepest shade that I could find in store at the time. I started using this maybe around seven years ago. They have new colors and they added a pump what else i don't i really don't know what else is new about this foundation i just know they have new colors and they have a pump now so hopefully it's still the same formula as this foundation because i do remember this foundation being one of my go-to's pretty sure i have a foundation routine of my channel using this foundation um so if you guys are interested in how it looks well actually i'm gonna put it on so you guys can see and then i'll go ahead and like you know, do my makeup with this foundation and then, yeah, everything pretty much looks the same except for the color and the new packaging. So let's go ahead and get into this foundation because that's pretty much why I wanted to film today because I really wanted to try this foundation on. It's been in my purse. Like I bought it, um, I think like last week. Y'all don't care. Let me just go ahead and put on the foundation. If I'm whispering, it's because, don't mind me. <laughs> All right, so, and I'm pretty sure this foundation is expired. This is so light. And I do feel like I am deeper now. The fact that I was wearing the shade is crazy. Like, yeah, I definitely got deeper in shade. So that's how this looks. Actually, I should probably put it right beside it. Yeah, let's do that. The new color that I got is N11 Neutral. Has a pump and everything. That's exciting. It's a lot thinner now, a lot thinner. I don't know if it's because this is um, expired, <laughs> but it's a lot thinner now. Way thinner, way thinner than the original formula. This, no, this formula is way thicker. I'm gonna see if I can, should I come closer? Let me scoot up a little bit. Okay, so this is C8 from like seven years ago. I don't know if this bottle is from, actually, no, this bottle might be from seven years ago. That's actually insane. So that's C8. It's definitely way thicker than the new formula. The new formula is thinner, but that also might be because it's expired. But I do feel like No, the shade difference is crazy. Okay, so this is a close-up of the shade. I really hope y'all can see it. But it's obvious that the C8 is thicker than the new foundation. And they're completely different colors because they are different colors. I probably should have got the C8 to see if the colors are still matching up, but I'm not the same shade that I was seven years ago so um yeah <laughs> okay so both foundations are completely off and I'm low-key wiping off my skincare so I'm gonna go ahead and do that again not my complete skincare but moisturizer and sunscreen for moisturizer I've been using this Cureology moisturizer um my skin has been a little well not my skin but my nose in particular because of the 
pollen and I've been blowing my nose, it's been flaky. So I've just been really going in with this moisturizer because my nose and this pollen has just been doing its thing. All right, so moisturizer is on. Did I wipe off my hand? Okay. Now I'm going in with a good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer. If you've been watching, oh, if you've been watching some recent videos, recent get ready with me's, this is the moisturizer. Not moisturizer. This is the primer that I've been using and I'm obsessed with. So I'm just going in with my normal products. I do have a a little bit of new products, but concealer and everything, primer is pretty much the same. So, primer is on. Oh, I forgot. I forgot my um. Ah, uh, no, I really do have to put my sunscreen on because I'm going outside after this. I have to go get some dresses taken in. So I'm just gonna reapply the primer. Sunscreen is a must. So sunscreen is on. I'm looking very shiny, but I don't mind that at all. Anytime that I put sunscreen on, I really don't feel like putting on any makeup because my skin just be like, look at me. <laughs> okay, um reapplying primer actually. Let me dry this down a little bit. It's so extra. <laughs> Pause. So I've been... <laughs> Y'all, why are the drugstore prices looking like... Looking like higher end prices? Like... I was looking at some of the drugstore products and I was like, Ooh, I want to do like a drugstore video. But I'm just like, um, yeah, no, I'm not doing that because the products that I have still work. So if it's not broke, I'm not trying to fix it. Um, of course, I'll try the occasional new products, but buying a bunch of new products just for the sake of a video, I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> like, I, I probably should, but like, y'all. I was appalled. I was like, fifteen dollars for a drugstore. For I feel like drugstore should be like twelve dollars and below because of tax. Because fifteen dollars for a drugstore item is crazy. So I'm just color correcting around my mouth area and then my under eyes and the reason why I like color correcting like this is because when I do this step it doesn't allow for the lighter concealer um, to have to do both I feel like when I color correct first it just makes my whole face look even and then once I do put the brightening concealer on it doesn't have to color correct and brighten and then sometimes when it comes it depends on the concealer Especially if it's not full coverage, you can kind of see your dark circles through the lighter concealer and then it just makes it look green or gray or ashy and I'm not trying to look ashy so I always like to color correct to make sure everything is even and then lay my base down which is my foundation and then go in and like brighten where I need to brighten and then I also like to take this concealer on my eyelid area. I just put like a dot and then I'll blend it out once I'm like, once I feel like it. I like it to set a little bit and get thicker or dry and then I'll blend it out. So let me dry it a little bit so we speed up this process, you know? But if you guys were wondering why I do this, that's, that's why. Now I'm just taking my damp, clean beauty blender and I'm just going to blend everything out and I'm just doing a simple everyday face I'm not doing anything on the eyes or anything I'm just focusing this video around the new products that I purchased which is foundation lip liner I got a new bronzer that I'm so excited to 
share with you guys. It's not a bronzer, it's a foundation, but I'll explain myself once I get to the bronzer because y'all, it's so good. So yeah, y'all see how everything is even? It's like working on a blank canvas now. So now, once I go in with my foundation, I don't have to use, I was about to drop it. Now, once I go in with my foundation, I don't have to use as much foundation. So now I'm just going to put the foundation on my brush like I normally do and just apply it to my face. And this is the e.l.f. What brush is this? Don't know, but it's from e.l.f. And I really like it. I'm seeing skin. I'm seeing nothing. I'm seeing nothing. Like, <sighs> this definitely matches my neck more than it matches like my face, but I typically like to go for a darker foundation just to make sure everything is like flowing. <sighs> Even on the forehead, it looks like skin. Usually if you put foundation on your forehead or your nose, that usually gives away if you have makeup on or not because sometimes I don't put makeup on my nose just because sometimes I just feel like it looks like a lot of makeup so sometimes I just like you know brush it over but like the fact that I'm putting this on my forehead and it still looks like skin first of all these my videos really be feeling like I'm on FaceTime like <laughs> I'm really chilling right now I'm really just like talking to y'all for real I'm really just doing my makeup because I gotta go somewhere um, and get these dresses like taken in. So I want to make sure I look how I'm gonna look when I actually wear the dress. Let me sit up. What's going on? But no, y'all. <gasps> okay, so this is the E2 brush from ColourPop, and I'm just using that to blend that concealer out. And this tiny mirror is from Unite's Hair. They sent it with one of the units that I reviewed. The only thing that I was kind of reluctant about is if this foundation was going to be too orange. Because that's, that's what drugstore foundations usually do. They're super, they used to be super orange. And I'm just like, not every brown skin person is orange. But we move, we evolve. I really feel like this pollen is drying me out because I just feel like I'm dry. Or maybe I'm dehydrated. I'm using aqua, aquaphor. I always feel like I said that wrong. But yeah, that's what I put on my lips to hydrate them. Because the Laneige lip balm is kind of like a lip gloss. It's not, it don't really be moisturizing my lip. The sleeping mask do, but the balm is just for like gloss. But I'm just gonna take the chestnut concealer just to keep it affordable because I really do like this concealer. One of my go-tos will always, will always get me together, you know? And I'm just gonna pick it up with my beauty blender and place it right up under my eyes. Go get this foundation. I Go get this foundation. I'm gonna do a flash test later on tonight. This is gonna be a word test, by the way, because I'm gonna come back and um, end off the video because, you know, I have to go out and do stuff. Stop playing. <sighs> I mean, it was good back then. It's still good now. The formula is a bit thinner, but it still gives full coverage. Now I'm gonna set it with my Kit Cosmetic Powder. If you're brown skin and you're terrified of using this powder, don't be. It does not flash back. I would not recommend a product to a product. Pro, I would not recommend a product that flashes back, y'all. I wouldn't even use it. It does what it needs to do. It sets me, it keeps my bright areas bright, and it sets when I need it to set, and it doesn't change the color of the product that I'm putting it on top of. It just sets, it literally just sets it's not super drying, nothing like that. So I set the whole face and I told y'all I got a new bronzer so I'm not going to be using my Fenty bronzer. I'm just gonna go in and bronze the face with another foundation from Juvia's Place. 
absolutely love the packaging so cute so simple um the color i have is zimbab i'm not even i'm not even gonna try that's the color that i got <laughs> it's so pretty now i was in ulta and i was going in there just looking at the bronzer because i kept hearing really good things about the juvia's place duo bronzer thing um so i went there and i looked at it and the deepest color that i've seen it was deep but when i put it on my hand compared to this foundation it just looked ashy on me and then the bronzer didn't have a lot of coverage to it at all so i was just like mm, I'm re i really just want this one so i was like i'm gonna take it home and use it as a bronzer y'all when i put this on my face I was just like, oh, what? Doesn't it look so good? I think it looks so good. And it's not super red. You do want to be careful because this is foundation. So it has some coverage to it. So I do make sure I take it easy. Because I don't want to overdo it when it comes to you know this product and then i also like to take it on the outer corner and just bring back in that definition and then bring back in the definition right here so my features stay looking like my features okay and my blush has not changed i'm still using rosie does it from mac and I'm just going to stipple this on my face. I don't have to set my bronzer because I didn't use a cream bronzer. The powder is just did everything I needed to do. Which cuts down my makeup application time. So that's the blush. I kind of want to put on a little bit of shimmer. I'm taking a penny for the blocks. And I'm just going to apply that to the cheek it just adds like a little gleamer to the face that i really enjoy i'm not filling in my brows because i don't feel like it i just like to brush them out and put them back in place and i don't really like using brow gel i just don't like the way it feels on my face i'll use it if i have to but majority of the time i, I don't choose to use it i just like keep brushing up my brows throughout the day when I see them out of place. All right, for the lips, I found a lip liner that's actually a lip liner. That's deep enough that's not red because y'all know I don't like the MAC chestnut lip liner because it pulls red on me. Like I don't want to put a lip liner on that looks red. Okay, so I came across this lip liner in Ulta and it's in the shade Coffee Bean and they have two shades that are deeper than this. Hold on, let me put it on my hand so y'all can see that it's brown. <gasps> Are you serious, Julius Ways? The only thing that I have to say is I feel like I'm gonna go through this very quickly and I do wish it was a little bit more matte. For the color, yeah. Okay, and then the lip liner, not lip liner, the lip gloss that I'm using is Butterscotch from Juvia's Place as well. This is my first time using this, and I'm like, wait, oh, it smells so good. The only thing that I'm worried about with this lip gloss is if it separates, like, like I want it to stay looking smooth. Not bad, but I feel like the lip liner is not staying put. I feel like the lip liner is mixing with the lip color a little bit too much. The color is pretty though. I'm like I'm not mad at the color at all. The urge I have to put another lip color on top of this. Okay, I'm I'm gonna leave it. This is what I have on my lips. I'm not changing it 
but I do have the urge to put on a different lip color because I just feel like it's like muted but I'm gonna wear it today and leave it <laughs> mm. but the makeup looks amazing like I can't even I can't even say it doesn't I'm gonna go ahead and get done what I have to get done today and then I'll come back to you guys so yeah this is what the makeup looks like right now at 2 34 on Wednesday April 19th I don't know why I always like telling the date but yeah this is what the foundation is looking like this is zoomed in do not say anything about my lashes because <laughs> I feel like they look crazy but this is how the foundation looks up close y'all seen everything I did there's no filter on this video at all I never have filters on my videos, but yeah, I don't even know how to do that. Anyways, this is how the makeup looks up close. And I will see y'all in a couple hours. All right, hey y'all, so I'm back. It's 9.37. Y'all are gonna have to excuse the TV in the background. I'm not gonna be here too long, so hopefully y'all don't mind the background noise. But this is how the makeup looks. I did not touch my face, not once, and I've been I've been running around since I put my makeup on. So since 2.30 something, I think that's what I said. This is the wear and tear and I've been outside running errands and trying to get things together. So yeah, this is how the makeup looks. Honestly, I, I really don't have too much to say about it. This is definitely going to be in my rotation. I'm, I'm just grabbing a random brush because I have some left lines going on. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, it looks better on camera. Maybe not, I'm not sure. But yeah, and then the lip combination, I still have the, ooh, what? I still, I still have the lip liner on. I think that was just something that was in the brush. I still have the lip liner on from Julia's Place with the lip gloss. No, it, I don't know, I just, I feel like it was blending in with the lip liner way too much. So right now I have on um, Max Mineralize Lip Glass. What's the name of it? It's like a very old lip gloss. Hold on, let me get it. All right, so the lip combination is Lovingly Yours from MAC. It's their Mineralized Lip Glass. I'm really not sure if they still sell this, but this is what I have on with this NYX sugar glass and clear and then the juvia's place lip liner so that's what i have on right now the lip gloss that i had on previously i just maybe a different color i'm not sure i just i think i don't like the formula because it was just mixing way too much with the lip liner so yeah but the foundation is a go and if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation i think this will be a good option i think it retails for like 13 dollars. i didn't touch up the foundation at all i literally i just touched up when you guys seen me you know do my left lines but i didn't blot it i didn't do anything i've been out in the sun i've been trying to close back and forth in and out of stores and all of that good stuff so yeah i've literally been running around all day um I almost didn't finish off this video because I was falling asleep. So, yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy the new products that I've been trying out. Um, if you guys have tried out any new products and you guys want to see me try it out myself or if you guys just want to recommend any products that you guys are loving right now just let me know down below if you have any video requests that you guys want me to film leave that down below as well hopefully i can get this out in the next two days because i i didn't film a video well i didn't post a video last week and it's already wednesday and i haven't posted a video so i'm really trying to not go two weeks without posting a video so hopefully i can edit this video and just put it up so hey y'all <laughs> this video is being filmed in real time um so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the content i am going to be putting out a vlog next and a hair video next well i don't know what order they're gonna go up in but i do have a vlog coming and a hair video coming so 
yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for being patient with me thank you so much for coming back to watch another video commenting interacting watching my hair content just supported me in general i love y'all i really do appreciate y'all and i really hope y'all like feel me because i really be sincere i really low-key be about to cry <laughs> um y'all really do be keeping me going sometimes like, especially like putting out this content and all the workload and okay i'm rambling i'm rambling i love y'all i appreciate y'all if you haven't already subscribed definitely subscribe my face will pop up somewhere here on the screen and another video will pop up if you haven't already seen it definitely check it out it might be a video or a playlist or it might be a video that's kind of similar to this video so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's trying new products video trying og products that i used to love still love the formula change i'm not really too mad at um i think it goes with how we're doing our makeup right now is not too heavy or anything like that it's thin but the coverage is still there so yeah that's my two cent on this foundation um stay tuned to all of my other makeup content that will come after this video because um i'm gonna keep wearing this foundation y'all know me i like to you know really wear the foundation and like try it out because sometimes my opinions change but i don't think my opinion is going to change on this foundation unless it like makes me break out or something um but yeah enough of my rambling i love y'all and i will see you guys in my next video